In this tutorial, we are going to prove that uh, the Laplace transform of C multiplied by f of t is equals to C multiplied by the Laplace transform of uh, f of t, where C there is a constant. And uh, for the second question, we are going to prove that the Laplace transform of f of t plus g of t is equals to the Laplace transform of f of t plus the Laplace transform of uh, g of t. So I'll start by looking at uh, the first one there. The Laplace transform of C multiplied by f of t is equals to C multiplied by the Laplace transform of uh, f of t. To prove that, we will use the definition. And we know that by definition, if f of t is defined for t greater than or equals to 0, the Laplace transform of f of t, which we denote by f of s, is uh, the integral from 0 to infinity of exponent of minus st times f of t dt. But in this case, we are finding the Laplace transform of c multiplied by f of t. So where we have f of t there, we substitute uh, with uh, c multiplied by f of t. And we get that the Laplace transform of c multiplied by f of t is equal to the integral from 0 to infinity of exponent of minus st times c multiplied by f of t dt. But c there is uh, a constant, so we can factor it outside uh, that integral sign. And we have uh, c multiplied by the integral from 0 to infinity of exponent of minus st times f of t dt. So what we are having there is the Laplace transform of c multiplied by f of t is equal to c multiplied by the integral from 0 to infinity of exponent of minus st times f of t dt. But if we look at uh, that part there, this integral, and uh, compare it with uh, the definition of the Laplace transform there. We see that part there is uh, the Laplace transform of uh, f of t. So this is by definition. So the highlighted part there is uh, the Laplace transform of f of t. So we have our expression there is c multiplied by the Laplace transform of uh, f of t. So what we are having there is uh, the Laplace transform of c multiplied by f of t is equals to c multiplied by the Laplace transform of uh, f of t, which is what we were required uh, to prove. We can now move on uh, to the second question, where we want to prove that the Laplace transform of f of t plus uh, g of t is equals to the Laplace transform of f of t plus the Laplace transform of uh, g of t. And uh, to prove this, we are going to use uh, the definition again. If uh, f of t is defined for t greater than or equals to zero, the Laplace transform of f of t, which you denote by f of s, is the integral from 0 to infinity of exponent of minus st times f of t dt. But in this case, on the left-hand side there of the expression, which is above, we are finding the Laplace transform of f of t plus g of t. So what we do is uh, we substitute away we have the f of t there in the formula. We put f of t plus g of t. So what we would have is the Laplace transform of f of t plus g of t is equal to the integral from 0 to infinity of exponent of minus st times f of t plus a g of t dt. So this is by using the definition. And we can multiply throughout by that exponent of minus st. And uh, we get uh, the integral from 0 to infinity of exponent of minus st times f of t plus exponent of minus st times g of t dt. But uh, by properties of integrals, we can separate uh, those two where we have uh, those additions. And uh, when we separate them, we have uh, the integral from 0 to infinity of exponent of minus st times f of t dt. And then plus uh, the integral from 0 to infinity of exponent of minus st times g of t dt. And this is just by using uh, properties of uh, integrals. So we have uh, separated uh, those. But if we look at uh, those uh, two integrals that we now have, we can now use uh, the definition of the Laplace transform, of which we know that uh, the integral from 0 to infinity of exponent of minus st times f of t dt there is the Laplace transform of f of t. And uh, the integral from 0 to infinity of exponent of minus st times g of t dt is uh, the Laplace transform of uh, g of t. So those are two integrals there, uh, Laplace transform of f of t and Laplace transform of uh, g of t. So when you substitute that, we have the Laplace transform of f of t plus the Laplace transform of uh, g of t. So what we are having there is uh, the Laplace transform of f of t 
plus g of t is equal to the Laplace transform of f of t plus the Laplace transform of uh, g of t, which is uh, what we were required uh, to prove.